Hi, I'm Charlene Habermeyer of Good Parenting Brighter Children, and this is Tidbits of Wisdom for Parents. Today I want to talk about a really fun tradition, and it's all centered around Halloween, and it's about Halloween costumes. Now, many of you may think that the biggest thing about Halloween is candy, and of course you would be wrong because many others would tell you that the biggest thing about Halloween are the costumes. They're a ton of fun. It's always fun for kids and even for adults to go out and find the perfect costume that they can wear to different parties and to go trick-or-treating and all of those different types of things. But let me take, take you back to where this whole thing got started. It actually got started hundreds of years ago with the Celtics. The Celtics were a combination of English and Irish. And what they did is they had a big, big party on October 31st. What it did is it celebrated the end of summer and the end of the harvest season. It was called Sow-In. And there was all kinds of foods and everything, but the biggest part of this celebration were the costumes. Everyone dressed up in a costume. Now, a lot of their costumes were taken from animals. They, with the, an animal being slaughtered, they kept the head, they just got everything out of it, and they would put that animal head. They told fortunes, they did all kinds of fun, interesting things, there was all kinds of fun food. But the interesting thing that they did is that the people who were wearing these animal heads, they would go around from booth to booth and from person to person, and they would ask them, for food or money. Now, the reason they wore the animal heads is they didn't want people seeing who they were. This actually is a takeoff of our trick-or-treating, where children wear masks and they go from door to door asking for candy. So it started clear back with the Celtics. Now, it's been about a hundred years where Halloween now has really become a huge, huge holiday, with costumes being one of the biggest things of the holiday. Let me give you a couple of ideas that you can do as a family if you're not already doing it. Make it a tradition that you maybe theme your particular um, Halloween costumes. Maybe they're after um, a group of superheroes, or maybe they're after movies, or maybe they're after Disney characters. My daughter-in-law made all of her children costumes that were themed around Mary Poppins one year. Another year she did costumes that were themed around all of the wicked witches of Disney. And uh, there, there's all kinds of different ideas out there. And of course, movies are just have a ton of different themes that you could use for costumes. Uh, make a special Halloween dinner. Uh, certainly don't make it on October 31st. The kids are anxious to get out there and to trick or treat. But theme it again around all different kinds of things uh, that have to do with Halloween and make it a special Halloween treat for your family. Also, another thing I've done is I've gone to the dollar store and I've gotten, they have those little tiny uh, Halloween molds there. I think they're mainly for to make ice cubes in. You can take crayons and you can fill them up. You can take the wrappers off the crayons, break the crayons, put them in those little molds. Put them in an oven for about 200 degrees and they'll melt. And when they harden, you have all different Halloween colors. You can get Halloween books or just pieces of paper and have your child uh, draw to their heart's content. Um, let me leave you with a really fun quote. It's by Mason Cooley, and it says, Clothes make a statement. Costumes tell a story. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you tomorrow.